are officially out here at Metal Cloak's home base, and we have a couple things planned for our JL. Believe it or not, we've actually been planning this for more than a couple of weeks, but because we planned ahead, Metal Cloak has been so insanely nice, they're letting us use not only their lift and their shop area to do these installs, they're also giving us a helping hand. And I can't wait to show you guys what we're doing. Let's go. excited. I am pumped. This is going to be awesome. As if the moto built dip covers weren't protection enough. <laughs> so we have the dip cover skid, the gas tank skid, the transfer case skid, and the engine skid. So we are fully ready to put all these gold metal cloak amazing bits on the Jeep to get us ready for the Rubicon Trail. Let's do it. <laughs> we got a grinder, we just see this right here. What are you doing? Huh? I'm trying to pound this in a little bit. I don't know if I'll be able to though. just grinding down the edge of those bolts so that we actually get a socket on it because we basically smashed them and rubbed them up against rocks so much that they've got all this stuff just kind of crunched around the outside so we're just making it so we can get a socket on them and pull them off real quick good job jay good job kev were you able to smash the gas tank skid yeah i got the skid back straight did you so we've we've hit it and dented it and it caused this side to kind of bulge out that's why kevin was hammering away there how happy are you right now, Kevin? Huh? How happy are you right oh, now geez. taking yeah. that off? Taking this one off? <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the license plate bracket yeah. frame, this is uh, probably our other least favorite part on the Jeep. And then we're taking this whole bit off here as well. <laughs> so I just put all my spare bolts in there to pretty lady right? Okay. <laughs> so ideally you can save yourself a ton of time with this whole install if you do what we didn't do and put these skid plates on before you go destroy this all. Because then you don't have to do all the cutting and crap that Jason was doing. You just take the bolts off, bolt everything up. It's a lot easier. So, keep going. So something I thought was worth mentioning is this cross member here is actually aluminum and so they weren't able to weld nuts to it. So what they did instead, or what Jeep did, they actually crush pressed these little threads up onto the backside of here and through Kevin and I wheeling our Jeep the way that obviously we tend to wheel it, uh, we actually broke this loose at some point. So when we just came to unbolt this, this came completely loose, which makes bolting this back up next to freaking impossible. So. In a pinch, Metal Cloak was actually extremely kind enough to go ahead and uh, weld this little plate onto here for us. That way it wouldn't spin as we went to go seat that bolt again. The good news is Metal Cloak, I believe, is working on a steel cross member to replace this aluminum one. So I would keep an eye out for that because that would be a huge benefit so this doesn't happen again. If you'll notice all their hardware, it's all tapered for a flush fit. That way you don't have to worry about doing what we just had to do and you know, from grinding everything down on rocks and then having to uh, worry about trying to get these out later on. So ah, there's another improvement. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab your uh, strong man here. And, uh, Everybody should have a strong man yeah, on here. Everyone hand. should have a strong man for this install. No, <laughs> there we go, that lines it up. That one. There you go. So what you want to do is you want to get that one little lined up, get that one on there, 
you basically try to get your corners just to help hold it up. That way your strong man doesn't have to uh, stand there, you know, getting buff all day long. <laughs> and honestly, these aren't that heavy. Um, no, they're actually not. Like, I could hold this up while Kevin does it or while Jay does it as well, but they've got bigger arms than I do, so. <laughs> Obviously, you don't need quite that many people to get this stuff up here, but I'm not going to say no to extra help, especially when they have beefier arms than I do. So, I mean, you can tell Metal Club put a ton of thought into the design of these belly skids. It has a perfect hole situated just so you can change your oil there. The brackets fit perfectly. All of the bolts, again, they're all recessed. There's nothing to scrape away. You don't have to worry about not being able to get a socket on there and being able to get the bolt out later on. Everything fits seamlessly. Like this is going to make such an improvement over the original stock cross members. It's insane. You've got the transfer case skid. You've got the gas tank skid. You have the diff skid, which also we're super excited about. Even though the Motoville diff covers have done a great job so far, the thing I like most about this is this lip right here. It's gonna keep you from grinding away on that edge against every rock that you come up against. I know we took measurements beforehand, but I think we're gonna hold off to give you the final measurements after we give you our next surprise. But weight-wise and height-wise, it's not gonna make it weigh as much as a tank. You don't have to worry about that. The protection these give far exceeds the cost of what the added weight might. That's literally not even extra me in your passenger seat. That's the weight of a cooler in the back. These are gonna be awesome. I'm excited to put them to the test on the Rubicon Trail, but before we do that, we've got more things coming. Stay tuned. Obviously, I can't give it all to you in one video. We gotta spread this out. We gotta make it more exciting and raise that suspense up a little bit. But thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we love you guys. I'll see you next time. Let's go. Just wrapped up and just in time. Someone order a lift kit. Kev? What? <laughs> yeah, we're going up. We're going up. Oh, oh.